Tonight's lesson is on computing actual areas from a scale drawing. And we'll use our proportional reasoning to help us out with that. Let's take a look at the first example. The student government liked your half-court basketball plan. They've asked you to calculate the actual area of the court so they can estimate the cost of the project. Based on your drawing below, what is the area of the planned half court going to be? What I'd like you to try to do is, if you can, find the area in two different ways. If you're only comfortable finding the area in one way, that's fine. But if you can figure out how to find the area in two different ways, try that out. Pause the video and then come on back. All right, so I'm going to show you two methods for finding the area. The first method is actually my preferred method. I like to take my length and my width on my scale drawing and convert that to the actual length and width and then apply the area formula. So I see from my drawing that one inch is 15 feet. And I look on my drawing, my length is two inches and I wanna know how many feet that would be. So I say 1 times 2 is 2, 15 times 2 is 30. So I know 2 inches is going to be 30 feet on the actual basketball court. And now I'm going to go ahead and take my 1 inch is 15 feet. And this time I'm going to say that my width is 1 and 2 thirds inches. And I want to know how many feet that will be. Well, I take 1 times 1 and 2 thirds. I'm going to multiply the numerator by 1 and 2 thirds. I know I have to multiply the denominator by 1 and 2 thirds. So now I'm going to take 15 times 1 and 2 thirds. That is 15 times 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 thirds. Multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. And I get 75 over 3. That fraction bar means to divide. 75 divided by 3 is 25 feet. So one and two thirds inches on my diagram represents 25 feet on the actual court. And now if I want to find the area of the actual court, area is length times width. So I'm going to do 30 feet times 25 feet. You're going to want to use your calculator. 30 times 25 is 750. So that's 750 square feet, feet squared. The actual area is 750 square feet. So that is the first method, and that's the method I'd like to use if I'm able to. I like to just take my scale drawing, find the actual length and actual width of my figure, and then apply the area formula. Sometimes that's not as easy to do or not possible in a problem. So what you might have to do, you might want to start by finding the area of your scale drawing. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to say area is equal to length times width. In my scale drawing, that's 2 inches times 1 and 2 thirds inches. 2 times 1 and 2 thirds. Let's work that out over here. 2 times 1 and 2 thirds. That's 2 times 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 thirds. We'll go straight across the top, straight across the bottom. 2 times 5, that's 10 thirds. If you want, you can rewrite this as 3 goes into 10 3 times with 1 left over, so that's 3 and a third. So this is 3 and 1 third square inches, or inches squared. That's the area of my scale drawing. I can now take that area of my scale drawing and I can convert it to the actual area. But here's the deal. I only know that 1 inch is the same as 15 feet. I don't know how many square inches and square feet I have going on. But the nice thing is I can take this and I can square it. I just would have to take the scale that I'm given, one inch is 15 feet, and I'd have to square it in order to figure out how many square inches and how many square feet are running around. So to square this, that just means to take one inch over 15 feet times one inch over 15 feet. Just to multiply it by itself, that's what it means to square something. 1 times 1 is 1, inches times inches is square inches, inches squared. 15 times 15 is 225, 
feet times feet is feet squared. So now we know in one square inch, there's 225 square feet. And now we're going to use that fact to help us because we know in our scale drawing, we have three and a third square inches. So we're going to use the fact that one square inch, one inch squared is 225 feet squared. And I know I have three and one third square inches. And I want to know how many square feet that will be. So I say, well, what do I multiply the top by? I multiply the top by three and one third. If I'm going to multiply the numerator by three and one third, I'm going to multiply the denominator by three and one third. So I need to do, I'm going to write it over here actually. Lots going on here. I'm going to do 225 times 3 and 1 third. That's 225 times 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1. That's 10 thirds. I'm going to multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So that gives me 2,250 over 1 times 3 is 3. On your calculator, do 2,250 divide by 3, and sure enough, we come up with 750 again. So this is 750 feet squared. So that equals 750 feet squared. And so look, at no matter which method we use, we get 750 feet squared. The only pitfall to the second method is you have to know if you have one inch is 15 feet, you need to square that to figure out how many square inches there are in the number of square feet. So hopefully that was helpful. Let's take a look at this one. The triangle depicted by the drawing has an actual area of 36 square units. What is the scale of the drawing? Note, each square on the grid has a length of one unit. All right, so I need for you to pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look on our picture. We know our height is one, two, three. Our height is three. And we know our width is one, two, three, four, five, six, or our base is six. All right, so what I might start with is I might start with my scale drawing area, only because I'm given the actual area. But I need to start with my scale drawing area because that's really all the information I have that I can do something with that I can see at this point. Again, there's more than one way to go about this. And the area of a triangle is one half length times width because a whole rectangle, if I was going to draw in the rectangle, it would be length times width, but a triangle is just half a rectangle, so it's one half length times width. A lot of times people say one half base times height. So this will be one half. My base is six units. My height is three units. So that's one half of six, half of six. If you multiply that out, that's three, so that's three units times three units, three times three is nine units times units is units squared or square units. So here's the deal. If we want our, to find our scale, we know we have to do our drawing, our scale drawing over our actual. But here's the problem. What we have is we have an area. We have nine units squared over 36 units squared. We don't want that for the scale. The scale has to be units over units. We, we need to know, you know how many units on our drawing represents how many units on the actual figure. But here we have square units. So I have to say to myself, if I have nine square units and 36 square units, I want some number of units over some number of units such that when I multiply it by itself, then I get nine units squared over my 36 units squared. Let me just kind of break this up a little bit. 
So what times itself is nine? Oh, three times itself is nine. What times itself is 36? Oh, six times itself is 36. So here, my actual scale is three units by six units. So three over six, divide top and bottom by three to simplify it. The scale for this drawing is actually three divided by three is one, six divided by three is two. The scale for this drawing is actually one half. The scale for this drawing is actually one half. Because you don't want to know square units per square units, you want to know how many units on the drawing would represent how many units on the actual. So hopefully that's helpful. So here, if I had my, my actual length, half of my actual length is six. So what's my, or half of my actual base is six. So what's my actual base? The actual base would be 12 units. I'm just gonna check and make sure that we actually get back to 36 square units. So if half of my actual base is six, then I know my actual base is 12. And if half of my actual height is three, well then my actual height must be six. And let's just see, because you want half of 12 gets you to that six, half of six gets you to that three. So if our area of our actual is, oops, sorry about that. If our area of our actual the formula find area is one half base times height. So this would be one half. The base of my actual is 12, 12 units. The height of my actual is six units. Half of 12 is six. Six times six does give me 36 units squared. So I just wanted to show you that if we used the scale, it does work for us. We needed our actual area to be 36 square units. So the answer for this one is the scale is one half. And it's, it's not easy dealing with, in my mind, dealing with areas because then you have square units when you know you need to just know units per units to know the actual scale for the drawing. So it just takes a little bit of extra thought and a little extra process. Tonight I'd like you to do a write-up on this question. Given a scale drawing, describe two different ways to find the area of the actual figure. So in our first example tonight, you might want to rewind and rewatch for the basketball court. I showed you two different ways to find the area of the actual figure. Thanks. Have a good night.